Hello everyone, how has been doing? Welcome back to my part 3 of me playing Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse difficulty. Doing some good progress so far. Maybe a bit struggling, but I'm getting there. As long as I have the circle chainsaw. It shouldn't be a big problem at all, as you can see. <clears throat> excuse me, my current... Uh, that is, is that I have the antique coins 18 out of 33 which is I think from what I'm going so far that I'm on the right track I'm gonna pick up a few today and today I'm gonna stop at the beginning when I control me at the um, the abandoned ship so without further ado let's continue this time I already loaded the game, so I hated that when I load the game or save the game, it cuts out the broadcast and that kind of stuff, so... I really don't dig that, but it's kind of... probably how things work. Right, so today we're gonna do the Lucas part, until I face off... Paul at the boathouse. Can't play that house with the chain side now, can we? So yeah, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And please like, comment, share, give me your opinions, recommendations, which, which kind of games that you prefer. Well, hello there, Grandma Mall. Give me your recommendation on what your type of games that you prefer. Just a note that I'm not quite a big fan of FPS games and sports games, I do not play those. And what I mean by FPS games, don't uh, I'm not like a Call of Duty, um, Battlefield, those kind of games I'm not a big fan of. But give me a game like Doom, Resistance, fear and such those are kind of the survival horror first person shooters that I like to play this is a very disgusting part For any of you who is watching, please tell me, do you want me to play Resident Evil 8 or not? Because... Well, golly... First of all... Okay, it's up there. Now, just run. Whatever we do, just run. Fuck. Whoa! Come on! Fucking bastards. As you can see, they're really fast on Madhouse. And by the way, the normal bullets, even with the Albert gun on Madhouse, there's they're like taking sponges it doesn't really do that much and I'm saving the enhanced ones for the uh, 
Pa Baker's fight. Does it clip? Okay, that was weird. Talk about living dangerously, but still, but this is a whole lot of a new meaning, right? So, yeah, the attic. Need to get there. Oh shit! Yeah, let's see how many damage do they take. This isn't going too good. Yeah, he can really probably swipe me. And they still haven't... Fuck. I told you this isn't gonna go well. Gonna go to the attic. Burner fuel cassette. Get the setting switch to lower the ladder. coin over here. We're gonna need the toy axe. Get the Mr. Everywhere over here. If you need the Mr. Everywhere that is. I'm just I'm just having fun trying to find them all over again.
I could have sworn I've seen some glitches in its shadow. But oh well. Righty. And as I remember for before, I really, I think, took everything inside the house now. Need some space though. Which I'll get to in just a few seconds. And I imagine I'm gonna get attacked by two moldy crawlers. No? Maybe when I get the second key card. And you're gonna use the toy axe for this part right here. Just make a 7 for an obvious reference. And you'll get the, a very well good hidden stabilizer. Let's just drop the burner fuel. And the key, yeah, I'm gonna use the key upstairs there. Drop the cassette. Right, list. Let's go get the other key door. And it's right above here. Oh, Grandmama, what am I gonna do with you? And as for the clock puzzle, the reference that it says that it's based on all of the, the time is as placed on all of the clocks in the house. So it's 10 and 15 minutes always. It, that doesn't change in regards of difficulty. That's an awesome picture for Jack being in the Marine though. Nothing here. Nothing here. Pardon me, Grandmama. Again with the burner fuel. This has been always empty. Ah, no new rounds this time. Lockpick. Uh, this is the other uh, treasure photo, which gives us the second repair kit. I'm surprised that key items like those are disposable, but the key, after its full usage, it doesn't get uh, discarded. Just like in the classic Resident Evil games, I, I really don't know why they didn't do that. And of course we get another pack pack.
righty. Don't worry, Grandmama. I'll be back for you. Later. Oh no, I'm trapped. For a moment I'll be trapped. Honestly folks, the normal handgun bullets really doesn't do that good of a damage against the molded on Nightmare. Because they really take a lot of punishment. So it's kind of... I don't know. Kind of a waste if you ask me. Come on! Shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on! I don't wanna die! Come on! Fuck this! Oh man, that was close. Shit. That was close. Very close. Phew. I'll use one of the healing items and make another one so I can have a full set of three so I'd say I'm okay now for the moment being that is don't need the key anymore this goes there, this goes there I'm gonna need uh, Grenade launcher later with the two fat molders coming from the down uh, from the elevator at the barn. There's going to be quite the tight situation. Okay. Don't want to stick around, and hopefully I don't get shunted. Better be safe than sorry. Hey, buddy. Remember, those two key cards will get you into the party. Don't be late now. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no. You Hush, boy. First. You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man. Everybody's waiting for you. Right by the lazy Louisiana Bayou. Along the Mississippi River. Uh oh. Okay, now where's the second one? There he is. I took this spot for a test drive yesterday. And I have to tell you, even with a full health, those crawly molded can might 
get you the one shot kill if you haven't you ever used a steroid to increase your health just be very careful of that um, I remember there was one box I left behind maybe it's the closest but Let's see. There was also another one in the old house. So I'm gonna go with this one, because it's the closest. Ah, magnum ammo. That's totally worth it. Though, I might gonna get the handgun very late at the game, at this point. For a moment there, the three was really blurry. Okay, so we'll continue on with this setup. I'm gonna be back shortly to get that uh, steroid. I might gonna need it in a pinch soon, very soon, and I assume these are handgun, yeah, handgun bullets. Antique coin here. Oh, well, hello there, Lucas. I see you found how to use that gizmo you've got there. Ethan. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got some for you. Lookie, lookie, what I've got. <laughs> Japan's your hose effects, huh? What the hell is that? Don't you talk about my Zoe. I'm surprised that the condition of Luke is that how the mold virus parasite thing affected Paul Baker and Margaret, but not as much as Luke is as like he has control of his own well-being more than Pa and Ma Baker. I find it quite interesting. What do you say? Fuck. The re now you're gonna ask me why did I have to bring the flamethrower? Because I'm gonna use the flamethrower against those exploding boxes and the traps. 
At least there is some use to the flamethrower. See? After Marguerite's boss fight. Win win. And surprisingly, it doesn't do that much. Ooh. Yikes, I almost fell for that. As I was saying, it doesn't do a lot of damage on the molded, even on normal. So don't even try it on, uh, on Madhouse. Yeesh. And the treasure is right here, the repair kit, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick it up on my way back again, since I'm going back to the trailer. To use those antique ones to get me the steroid. So we have one coin over here, and we have a very close one right over there, I believe. Yes, it's there. And be careful of the trap. Be very wary of these traps. That's why it's better to dispose them with the flamethrower. I mean, at least there's you can give it a good use. And not waste other essential ammo. Oh, I didn't notice that last time when I did it on my free run. This over here and this over there. Righty. I'll be back for Lucas, but for now I need to go back to the trailer. <laughs> while the coast is clear. Eh, why the hell? I'm just gonna pick it up. I forgot to take that uh, cam fluid. Oh, I did.
Gonna get me that steroid over here. Hmm. At this point, the magnum would be more important, so I'm gonna use it there. that here. Dispose of these. Hmm. Right. The most thing that I'm concerned right now are the two fat molded. And of course the third uh, Pa Baker boss. As I imagine he would hit very hard on Nightmare. I didn't reach him on my free lap on this part. Oh, that's down. on what I imagine is the happy birthday room trap I just love how they put on the Resident Evil 3 sound effects Fucking for this part And get the flamethrower or some explosive traps. And there's a well hidden magnum armor um, here, I think. Yep. Just one bullet. Before I face the molded. On the other side, whoa. Shit, I forgot about this guy. There are going to be two of them on the other side, instead of the crawling molded. Here it has two... And uh, I'm not concerned on wasting flame ammo. Is that all because I really don't want to die? Come on. This could kill me. Oh, 
Okay, then I'll use the one that I have right now. Okay, let's see how much. Whoa, and they shit. Oh. See, this isn't really funny. Fuck. Man! Jeez. Psycho stimulants. I think I'll try, I'm gonna try and convert that to, um, cam fluid. Now be careful of those very annoying crawlies over here. Come and get some, boys. And that's the end of that. I'm gonna use those near uh, soon. Get the Mr. Everywhere up here. Cause why not? Gonna need to make some room. Lots of room. this, drop that, I need to convert, there, Time to bring up the uh, grenade launcher. Pick up some of these items now while I'm at it. This one's going to be an explosive. Take that out. And I think one is okay.
Okay, I'm going to do a quick save now. This is the best time that I should do a manual save. Don't go away, it's just going to be a minute. Friday. Just time to continue. I need to pick up that uh, antique coin that I left behind. I'm sure as well don't want to miss an antique coin and have to play Madhouse all over again because of some coin. I think there's going to be the last one for this part after the elevator. So pretty much we cleaned up this place good until now. For the items, I mean. for choice now, do I? That was probably my fault that I didn't notice that I needed a free space for the badger, I forgot that, but oh well. I'm still gonna manage this regardless. Oh shit! I told you I'm gonna manage it. Supplements. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, I'll take it. Is there anything else? The X-Carry classes aren't taking anything, so no. 1408, okay. So he's gonna tell me to dispose everything I've got anyway, so... not use the antique coins back at the trailer then I can then I drop all of my stuff there then I come back here so as far as from this part until I fight Jack the third time soon I don't think that there's any other antique coin for this part today I think the next one will be for next time when I start to control me uh, and play her ship segment. Use it on the Magnum. gonna probably need that against Jack. Okay. Okay, time to drop everything. Whoop de doo, happy birthday to me. Have a nice day. More like happy death day. God forbid.
So yeah, the thing is, do not, uh, don't ever pull the finger magic out of the barrel because instead of wine, it has fuel or flammable that's gonna cause this place to be on fire when the cake blows. So you need to turn off, I mean turn on the um, furnace. Then you do the same steps as the as you usually need to pass the the happy birthday tape, but you can take some shortcuts right away because it's the same thing. Just don't unplug the finger magic from the barrel. <laughs> oh, I don't need to get myself hurt now, do I? Can I discard it though? Nope. I shouldn't have needed to pick it up anyway. Oh, Lucas, I shouldn't have. And amazing, I cannot get away. After I place that, so you're forced to take the explosion at close. Oh, get get the bomb, get the bomb, get the bomb! Golly, she's gonna blow! Duck cover, duck for cover! Feels like an episode from Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> the DC is hit and arm for Zoe. Finally. The poor thing. Get everything back. Where's my DC is on? There it is. A little bit of organizing here and there.
Alright, I'll make a quick manual save, because I'm going to need this save. I'm gonna probably can pick up the arm that later at the boathouse. Gonna save those for Jack. Again, please don't forget to check my other Resident Evil playthroughs that I did on my channel. You're gonna find it directly on my main page of my channel under the Survival Horror Games panel that I organized. Before I try to use the crank, what do we have over here? Nothing else. Oh, nice shot. Shit. Whoa. I think I have. There should be a crawler on an armored one. Unless if they throw. Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Okay, so that's more than the usual molded that I face on normal. Please don't tell me there's even more. Oh, 
I think the crawl is gonna spawn right now. And now the armored one should drop. good to have a shotgun when you're in a pinch. Okay, the music is off. That means there's no more of them. Since we're gonna face Jack, but I'd rather prepare my strong ammo now. I've been saving this whole time for him. Mag ammo. This is new. Compared to normal anyway. Shotgun, handgun, which is kind of useless, but meh. Some organizing is in place. Don't need this, don't need that. Okay, that's weird, like I've been picking everything else so far and they don't throw you a lot of uh, lockpicks around as you usually do from uh, normal difficulty. Mamma Mia! Zoe? Zoe, I'm not now. We don't Zoe, have time. you fine, gal? Do you have both ingredients? I sure do. Enough, right? Oh, look. Oh. fast enough. My father and Lucas aren't far away. He's coming. Daddy's coming. Pa? Pa Baker's coming. Where? Okay, so I'm gonna need two or three rooms regardless, so I'm gonna make a quick manual save. Is that outside? Or is it on the boss fight area? And that's on the boss fight area. I'm sure there's nothing missing left from back there. Okay, time to make a quick save. This is 
There, finally it's done. And with a little help of the attack and assault coins. I died quite a lot back there. Ethan, this way. <laughs> have died like over 18 times against him. Need to cut it out in the video. Decisions, decisions time. It's a tough call, it's either me or Zoe. Since I did Zoe last time, I'm gonna pick Mia. Sorry Zoe, 
I have to pick me at this time around. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not gonna leave you behind. Alright, so... Okay, this is gonna be it for this part for today. Uh, so now the next part is gonna be the Mia part for the abandoned ship. And after that is gonna be the final part. So there's two more videos left remaining for the main campaign. Hopefully by then I'll get the antique coins trophy with the Madhouse difficulty trophy. And I'll should be have the platinum by then. And after that I'll be doing um, Chris is not a hero mode. After that I'll do the end of Zoe. And then I'll do the band footages ones. There are some really wild ones like Ethan Must Die and the Blackjack card game. That's going to be quite quite a field trip to do. I'm quite um, disappointed that if you pick Zoe, um, her interaction for picking her up it's going to be only for this cutscene. She's going to be revealed something important, but it's not worth a while to choose uh, over me overall, unless you have to do the bad ending, which I did it on easy with the speedrun. So you're going to have to do the ending, uh, the bad ending, just one time at least. So but after that, I'd rather pick me because it's more suitable with the progress of the game itself, it seems. So yeah, the Jack boss fight really had my ass kicked hard. You're okay. What the hell was that? What the fuck? So yeah, don't forget to watch some of my other Resident Evil playthroughs that I did. You'll find it on my um, website on the playlist uh, dedicated for survival horror games you'll find Resident Evil 4, Code Veronica, Revelations, um, what else? Of course this game with its continent. <coughs> Alright so will it auto save here then? Yes, it's going to auto-save. Alright, so this is going to be it for today's stream, for this part. Two parts left for the main story, at least for the Madhouse playthrough. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Give me your opinion or suggestions in the comment below, please. Uh, what else? So I'm thinking what will I do after I'm gonna finish Madhouse and all of the Resident Evil 7 DLCs. I'm not sure. Will I do Evil Within 2 or probably the first Valkyria Chronicles? I need to platinum that as well. So I'll decide that for next time. So I would like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. And I'll see you all on the next time I play. Peace out.